I'm really interested right now in board development and, and nonprofit governance practices. I think many organizations right now are thinking about how to develop more inclusive governance structures and have found that that's complicated. In many ways, it is challenging, I think, to move away from a more traditional board development understanding towards a different set of processes that is more inclusive. I think there are a lot of organizations with uh, boards composed of uh, older and, and wealthier and, and uh, more well-connected individuals, uh, boards that may not understand or reflect the lived experiences of people that the organization is serving. I'm um, seeing a lot of innovation in this area right now and people are experimenting with different kinds of board development strategies and bodies. But I think nonprofits, at least in New York and I think probably nationally as well and maybe even internationally, are a little bit behind where they'd like to be. So there's a lot of experimentation in this space, but I think we've got a ways to go and I'm interested to see uh, how that will change and how uh, through my own research and the research of other faculty here and elsewhere, uh, we can be a part of making that change happen. Most pressing issues that nonprofits are facing is that their leadership does not necessarily represent the people that they are created to serve. And so as Professor Mitchell has talked about, they're trying new ways of incorporating different perspectives. Um, and so the most, while that is a very pressing issue, underlying that is the ability to think creatively about governance processes, the ability to, to cr think creatively and engage multiple perspectives and identities in problem solving because you know, let's, let's talk about these social issues that nonprofits were created to address, right? They haven't gone away. Um, and so trying to um, have the same modus operandi, the same solutions to the same problems, we know doesn't work. And so what we need is creativity and the creative friction that comes from having people around the table that have different perspectives and bring in different ideas to create new solutions. And I think engaging that difference is one of the biggest problems that, uh, or one of the biggest challenges, as you say, that nonprofits face. And, and so one of the things that we do here at the Mark School, which I think um, will help our graduates engage in this challenge, is, well, one, all of our students are required to take a course called Race, Policy, and Inequality, where students will look at historically the systemic and institutional um, dynamics and, and policies that have created and reproduce racism and inequality. And so that goes historically up until present day positionality of each individual and how we, as, as who we are individually, bring different things to the table um, and are seen differently in our groups. So starting out the education, starting out the master's degree with that class really sets the tone for the rest of the master's degree. And, and I will say another thing that um, students will, will, will help students be prepared to engage in this challenge is in every class that we have at the Mark School, there are professors who are incredible, award-winning scholars who study inequality, right? So they are experts in their field. Um, and they still take the time on a regular basis to hone their teaching skills. Right? So right after this recording, I'm going to a workshop on engaging different perspectives in a conversation in a classroom. There are so many opportunities for our faculty to increase the tools in their teaching toolbox, to learn more about inclusive pedagogy so that they can not only engage in different perspectives in the classroom, but model to students how to engage in different perspectives in the classroom. So I think you know, there's that core course but that, that will help students um, you know, kind of come to the same level on certain issues when it comes to race and inequality, racism and inequality. But then in every class, there's opportunities to learn more about it, which I think would really help our nonprofit management students in whatever field their nonprofits um, focus on and whatever policy problems that they choose to look at.